guys welcome to my channel <laughs> guys can you see what i am seeing can you can you guys for today's recipe we're going to be making edikan ikon the calabar style <laughs> my loves if you're interested in knowing how i put all of this together please sweethearts keep watching <laughs> guys so far ingredients here i have my red onions okay uh, for your edikai edikai kong it's really really delicious when you mix this together it it gives it an amazing flavor okay guys and here i have some maggi cube and some salt okay and right here guys i'm going to be using this fish fillet okay and here i have some pomo yes guys and here i have some stock fish okay and i have some blended crayfish right here it's right here i have my grilled meat okay and this is a combination of a body shaki and goat meat you guys know that now i love using this for my recipes it's just everything it adds such an amazing flavor to your food when you grill your meat and guys this is my spinach yes i know that water leaf is traditionally used for a dikangi kong okay but i do not have water leaf so i'm going to replace this with spinach if you have water leaf please by all means use it and guys right here is my soaked ogu leaf which is floated pumpkins so guys uh what i'm having is a dried one i do not have the fresh one okay because of course in europe is so hard to find the fresh one i just tip this for about four hours and i'm going to wash this for about three times you don't want any sun get it get it into your food or you can also use the frozen one okay i am sure that if you try it with this dry one you will still love it as much as it were the fresh one okay guys so guys let's get into the video proper guys in this pot it's my meat broth okay or my meat stock okay and the first thing you want to do in your edikang ikong recipe is you want to first of all add your meat and your uh if you're using dry fish you want to add it because you want to cook this up first okay before adding your veggies okay and guys you guys know that edikang ikong is a very easy straightforward recipe it's not a recipe that is going to leave you to get or to sleep in the kitchen like other recipes okay it's so easy to make so I'm just adding all my meat and all of my fish, okay, together. And I'm just going to season them afterward. You want to let this to cook for some for some time. Okay, guys, that is the trick of getting your edika icon coming out so amazingly tasty. And guys, if you love how my grilled meat looks like the trick is so easy yeah but it's one that if you try you won't regret it it's just for you to boil your meats with just pepper onions and maggi and salt okay especially if you're using it to cook an african food or an african soup that doesn't or that you need to add red oil and after your meats are worked okay you just want to send it to your oven and grill it for about 100 mm, sorry for about 25 to 35 minutes at 180 degrees celsius now if you do not like grilling or you are not able to grill i mean maybe if you don't have an oven that's still okay just fry them it's just everything it's grilled meat to your soups or in your soups is just an additional bonus for you however you can still use boiled meat if that's what you want to okay and guys in into this i'm going to add my crayfish okay and i'm going to add my maggi and my salt and some blended peppers that i blended with some onions I'm going to give that a very good stir 
and then cover to let it cook for about 10 minutes and guys before covering your pot you want to add in your red oil yes one thing about a deep kind of is you want less water in your edin kaiko i think that is one of the main things that you need to look out for it doesn't require water at all so please my darlings make sure that your edin kaiko is as dry as possible and you have more oil in that way you enjoy it more okay <laughs> And so guys, I'm still going to go in with more oil. Now, as much as you want and as little as you want. This is your soup, so please do whatever you want to do with it, okay? It's your choice. It's your kitchen and your rules, okay, my darlings? Now, after you've added your oil, please cover your pot and let it cook for another 10 minutes. Guys, so this is after about 10 minutes, okay, of by boiling or stewing my meat. So I'm going to put in my, <clears throat> my spinach, guys. Now you can see that this is in a sieve. That's because spinach contains a lot of water, okay, just like bit, uh, water leaves. So you want to really try to uh, put this in a sieve so that some of the water can drain out. And guys... You can see how I finely chopped my spinach, okay? You want to do this if you're using fresh spinach. But if you're using the frozen one, that's okay. But just try to slice it, you know, just roughly cut some of them or just chop some of them, okay? I'm just going to give this a good mix and let it cook for another three minutes because you want the spinach to uh, reduce in, in size or in quantity before we start adding our ogu, okay? my darlings if you've watched up to this stage okay and you haven't subscribed sweethearts please what are you waiting for hmm? please ne? what are you waiting for subscribe my darling let's make this family bigger and if you've already subscribed my sweetheart thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much your subscribe means a lot to me and Please, loves, as you watch my videos and you enjoy them, please try to like, share, and comment. And let me know how you like it, okay? Help out the sister. Okay, sweethearts? Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Thank you a million times. So I'm just stirring this and I'll leave this to cook for three minutes before adding my ogu. my darling so this is after three minutes okay and now i'm just going to add in my ugu, okay now this is just to show you that even if you live in the diaspora and you cannot uh, get fro uh, fresh ugu, you can still use the frozen or the dry ugu. however if you're using the frozen ugu, please Try to make sure that you leave it to defrost overnight and you drain out the excess water. You know that a deep kong doesn't require a lot of water. And did I mention we are using the calabar style for this recipe. And guys, to this I'm going to add the rest of my blended pepper and onions. And I'm going to finish off with some crayfish and I'm adding off some pepper. I love heat, okay? And I'm going to let this to cook for another five minutes. It's not good to overcook your vegetables, but it's still good to cook it well. <laughs> uh. Guys, <laughs> So, can you see what I'm seeing? Can you see how beautiful that looks? Can you see it? <laughs> Sweethearts, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope that each and every one of you loved and enjoyed this recipe. I hope that you please remain safe in this very difficult time and take care of yourselves, my loves. Please, take care of yourselves again and bye-bye. <laughs>